Hello guys, what is up? It is uh, the Stitches Panning here today, and I would like to welcome you to day uh, three of the 30 day challenge. So th if you guys don't already know, the 30 day challenge is a, a little bit of a challenge held by the YouTuber JeepGuy934. And uh, what uh, JeepGuy934, you know, he makes this challenge so that you can get better at your commentating skills and whatnots and make a video every single day for 30 days or a month depending on how you look at it I guess some months have 31 days in them but and 29 and 20 well no 28 I should say and some have 29 okay oh well we're uh, kinda getting off subject here but anyways I'm playing Cold of Duty again today and uh, the map I'm on is Village I'm using a PP 9 OM1 something like that so I can't remember the exact P PP90 M1, I believe, uh, with the P99 as my secondary, P99 silenced, and uh, let me tell you that that pistol with a silencer is not good at all. Um, I'm using UAV and ballistic vest, which is a horrible, horrible setup. Uh, this was actually uh, originally a support class for Team Deathmatch and co-confirmed, and it didn't even have this submachine gun on it, but I changed it to a submachine gun for this map uh, just in particular. And I forgot to change the death streaks. I mean, the, the kill streaks. So I had to go with this, and it actually worked out to be a pretty good uh, setup. So I actually ended up doing pretty good in this game, and I hope that you guys enjoy watching. Anyways, um, so the topic today is uh, dentists and orthodontists. Anyways, I went to both of those places today. Well, I went to both the dentists and the orthodontic place. Um, but to me, I really don't like the dentist or the orthodontist. I mean, they're both like messing around in your mouth. And uh, let me tell you about my experiences today. Anyways, so like I was at the orthodontist, and I already don't like the orthodontist at all. I mean, he's he's weird, and like he'll call you like a sweetie, and I I don't understand that. Like I'll be like, uh, and he'll be like, uh, is anything wrong with your teeth, sweetie? And I'm like, um, I'm a I'm a you know a young a young boy so uh don't, don't talk to me like that anyways um i don't actually say that but yeah just throwing that out there <laughs> anyways um and there was this new person there today apparently apparently she was new she had no idea what she was doing and she was like adjusting my braces she had no idea she was just like stabbing my my cheek and stabbing my gums and just like whoops sorry like when she would like hit my gum and there was actually blood like uh, uh, like i looked in my mouth and i was like bleeding in like multiple places and then she's like every time she did that she'd be like sorry and i'm like well uh yeah you should be sorry but i'm bleeding okay and uh so anyway uh, we fa finally finished there and the and the orthodontist takes forever to get to you like you'll sit in the chair like okay there are just your braces or whatever and then you'll sit in the chair for like 30 minutes that uh, the orthodontist will come over and literally it takes him about five seconds he looks at your mouth and he's like oh good to go well i just waited 30 minutes for you to say you're good to go well okay um but that actually didn't happen this time. Since this person was new, she probably had no I I idea what she was doing. I was practically a guinea pig to this person. You know, she's never even done this before. Apparently, it was the first time she was telling me. She's like, oh, well, uh, yep, I've never uh, done this before. So, I'm like, wow, uh, thanks for telling me. And uh, so, she, like, messes up. And she has to take my, uh, my wire out two times. Two times. She messes up two times. And it took us probably a, a total of like two hours just to get these freaking new wires on, which would have taken a normal person, like a, a person who knew what they were doing, probably about what, like five seconds? No, not five seconds, but maybe, you know, ten minutes at tops. And yeah, so I did that, and then we went to, uh, to a couple places, and then we went over to the dentist. Now, the dentist is pretty much the complete opposite of the orthodontist. Uh, the dentist is, I think he's pretty cool, although I don't like the dentist at all. You know, like, you you want to, like, just, wa like, just, like, spit or something? And then, I know this sounds really weird, and then my girl spit people out, but then, like, there's people, like, brushing your teeth, and it's, it's like that tooth toothpaste that, like, like, you know, you know it tastes really bad, and you don't want to swallow it, but, like, you're gonna need to, and you're like, wow, this is horrible. And then, um, and then you have to do the fluoride, fluoride, and you have to, like, go over the sink, and then you can't eat for, like, 30 minutes. But, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of annoying. But my dentist, 
is actually kind of weird. He reminds me of like a surfer person. Like he's like a surfer, you know, like California, like woohoo, hanging sand, yeah, on the waves out there, you know. And uh, you're not the person you'd want as a dentist, but uh, he's actually kind of cool. And you know, you know, he's all enthusiastic about his job. He comes in, starts whacking me with the, one of those latex gloves. I have no idea what he was doing, but uh, he was doing that. Anyways, uh. Yeah, and the orthodontist is the complete opposite. He's really, really weird, and he's probably something like 70 years old. No, I'm not trying to be mean there, but yeah. I mean, he's, he's like ancient, uh, practically. I wouldn't be surprised if he was like Dumbledore, like 152, possibly. I don't know. But, uh, I know it's kind of mean, but yeah. Anyways, let's get out of that. And, uh... I just wanna, since that subject is pretty much over and done with, I'd like to, uh, address a couple of things. Um, I think that, uh, throughout this, uh, you know, this, uh, 30 day challenge, I'll try to, you know, alternate videos and stuff. I'm not trying to switch around too many games, although I kinda did wanna, you know, do a couple games, not just the same game, uh, the whole time. So, for instance, I was kind of thinking something like, uh, like, al already I've done Battle... Oh, no, I did Call of Duty, then Battlefield, and then I'm doing Call of Duty today. So, maybe, like, an alternating thing between games, like, one week. For one week, I'll do Call of Duty Battlefield, Call of Duty Battlefield. Then one week, I'll do Assassin's Creed... Skyrim, Assassin's Creed, Skyrim, Assassin's Creed, Skyrim, or whatever. Or I could do, like, Resident Evil... Assassin's Creed, Resident Evil, Assassin's Creed, Resident Evil, Assassin's Creed. You get, you get my drift. But, uh, if there's any games, I know that I have, like, next to no subscribers and almost nobody who comments on my videos, but if you even just stumble upon this video and, uh, want, you know, a, a certain kind of, uh, a game to be on this, you know, this kind of, like, mini-series, I guess it would be, mini-series, uh, then, uh, please feel free. I'll try to see if I can either get the game, um, if it's, like, a cheaper game or if, um, you know, I already have the game. But uh, if I don't have the game and it's like a sixty dollar game, I'm probably just gonna have to stick with the games I already have. So um, yeah, and I just want to finish up a little bit by uh, I guess explaining this gameplay uh, because I'm I'm really not a really good gameplay commentator like commentating movie gameplay. But uh, my strategy pretty much in this since I was using the UAV and the ballistic vests, I would kind of carefully pick out people that I could see. Um, get kills when the UAV was up, and then once the UAV was not up, I would actually kind of recede and try to, uh, you know, stick to the edges of the map, um, and then wait until I got about, you know, four more kills until I could get a UAV, then call on my UAV, and I could go up for some close quarters combat. A lot of times in this video, the UAV actually saves my life, and surprisingly, the ballistic vests uh, save my life so many times. I guess the UAV doesn't quite save my life as much as it does um, gets me kills. But let me tell you, the ballistic vest in this video probably saves me a good, you know, four, four, uh, four or five times. And uh, anyways, so uh, that's the end of this video. And I'd just like to say goodbye. So uh, adios, Citrus Panda, signing off.